Hello everyone. Uh, now I am planning to start a series that is explaining the high yield topics that are frequently asked in the NEET PG examinations. So this is my first video in this series and today's topic is androgen insensitivity syndrome. So let's start. What is this androgen insensitivity syndrome? It is also called formal, previously it was also called as testicular feminization syndrome. And what is this condition? The end organs are unable to respond to androgens. In this condition, the end organs are unable to respond to androgens. And there is either mutation or lack of androgen cytosol receptor. This is just a small introduction regarding this testicular feminization syndrome or androgen insensitivity syndrome or the same. And they are phenotypically and psychosocially females. The patient will be phenotypically and psychosocially females. Just three points. The end organs are unable to respond to androgens. There is either mutation or lack of androgen cytosol receptor and the patient will be phenotypically and psychosocially female. And let's see what are the features these patients have. Primary amenorrhea or infertility. The breast, is, the breast will be well developed and there will be absent or sparse pubic or axillary hair. The vagina is short and blind. The uterus will be absent. The testis will be present and mostly they are undescended. And the sex chromatin is negative. This is the catchy word that you have to keep in mind, sex chromatin negative, because what is sex chromosome? Sex chromatin. Uh, the material is found only in the nuclei of the female cells and it is believed to represent the inactivated X chromosome. The, normally the female will be having XX karyotype. So the second X chromosome, inactivated X chromosome uh, should be there for sex chromatin positive. So here the karyotype in this androgen insensitivity syndrome is XY. So there is no uh, separate X chromosome which, which will be inactive so here the sex chromatin will be negative so these are the key terms that you have to keep in mind while seeing the question the primary amenorrhea or infertility the breast will be completely developed so the secondary sexual characters will be actually normal absent or sparse pubic or axillary hair the vagina is short blind uterus will be absent the testis is undescended sex chromatin negative because only one X chromosome is there X Y that is a karyotype now let's see one question, how they are asking about the condition. A 16 year old girl with primary amenorrhea is found to have a blind ended vagina. The ultrasonography reveals that the uterus is absent. The breast development is adequate, stature is normal, while pubic and axillary hairs are sparse. The sex chromatin was negative. What is your diagnosis? This is a direct question, so you, you all know by now that the answer is androgen insensitivity syndrome. And what are the catchy words or what are the key terms, key words that you can find from this question? One is primary amenorrhea, you can see blind ended vagina and uterus is absent. Breast development is normal here and stature is also normal. So you can buy all these points and the important, the most important one is sex chromatin was negative. So you can rule out the Mullerina genesis, Rokitansky, Kusterhauser syndrome, Turner syndrome. Turner syndrome you can easily understand by the stature is normal. Yeah, normally in Turner syndrome there will be uh, short stature so uh, I guess you guys understood what are the how to identify the key terms or key words from the question now let's see uh, the different cost or, or choices in this question Mullerian agenesis it is also called as Mayer Rokitansky Kusterhauser syndrome so that was the B and C options in the previous question here the karyotype is XX so there will be sex chromatin present so in the question they have given sex chromatin is absent so with that only point you can differentiate it from uh, androgen insensitivity syndrome and Mullerian agenesis and in Turner syndrome I have already said short stays will be there and secondary sexual characteristics will be poorly developed breast development or, or will be poorly but there the breast development is adequate so with these points you are coming to the conclusion that the and androgen insensitivity syndrome is the answer so likewise they'll be asking questions in the examinations and this androgen insensitivity syndrome is one of the high yielding topic in EPG examinations. Thank you. Have a nice day.